It's time for your Toyota one-on-one. -on -one. This time around, I am joined by 49ers running back Matt Breida. Coming off of a big win in Cincinnati over the Bengals, 41-17. Uh, great performance by both the offense and defense. But in your mind, how does it feel to come back home 2-0? Amazing. You know, uh, I don't think we've done that since I've been here. So uh, it's a great feeling, and I feel like the team's worked so hard, you know, over the past two years to get to this point, and we just got to keep it going, you know, trying to go into the bye week 3-0. I'm not mad at that. Going into the bye week 3-0 is ideal. Uh, so what's the vibe of the locker room right now? You guys have been in Youngstown, Ohio yeah. for a week. You come home. I mean, obviously, you guys are thankful to be home, but mm -hmm. what's the vibe like? Uh, the vibe's good right now. I think a lot of guys are just tired, exhausted, just being on the East Coast and the time difference. But uh, everyone loves to win, and we've been doing that. And uh, so everyone's been up positive and you know, ready to get after it this week. All right, so looking back at week one in Tampa Bay, week two in Cincinnati, is there a play that you look at these first two road games from yourself that you're like, all right, I'm real proud of that. Like, that's when you kind of smile when you look at the, the highlights. Of uh, probably this last game we had with Cincinnati, I had my, uh, the 30 yard run I had uh, where I juked the guy out. You know, I was just, you know, in my head because, you know, I know I can do that stuff all the time, but, you know, just to be able to go out and do it at this level, you know, it, it brings you back and makes you laugh like a little kid almost. I can't lie, that was my favorite play of the entire game. Just like a little sidestep, guy kind of yeah, dives Yeah, a little, in little Barry Sanders action right I there. I like it, okay. Let's talk a little bit about the running backs group. Who would you say you're probably closest to? I mean, you guys are a pretty close group, but is there uh, anyone you're closer to than the others? Uh, probably Jet, just because, you know, I've known him the longest. Right. You know, we went to college together, and uh, you know, he's like a brother to me. And, uh, you know, just really super close. But like you said, we're all close together. Those guys are all my brothers, you know. We always got each other's back. And uh, I'm just so happy that, you know, they're on our room together. Tell me the vibe of the locker, or not the locker room, but the running backs group. What's the vibe? Oh, the, the vibe is just, we're on 100 all the time. There's Ooh. clowning all the time. Oh, Someone's always getting roasted <laughs> about something. It could just be the way you look or you dress that day. You know, if it's not on point, we're getting on you. Who's the biggest roaster of you all? Can you call it that uh, a roaster? Yeah, you can call it a roaster. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I would say probably probably Raheem. You know, he's really? always, yeah, he's always on go. He's always ready to flame somebody. Explain to me, you guys, it's one of my favorite things. You guys have this little shimmy you guys do when you break down a huddle. <laughs> yeah. Where did this come from? All right, so I think it started either with Jet or Tevin. I can't remember which one of the two started this year, but okay. we were like, you know, we need some juice. Was like, man, we need some swag, you know? Bring some swag to the <laughs> running back room, you know? Te I, th I think it was Tevin. Tevin, you know, came up with that little shimmy. So, uh, you know, it's a good way to end practice, you know, and like I said, it gives us a little bit of swag. All right, Matt, as we wrap up this Toyota one-on-one, -on -one, you've got your first home game of the season this week against the Pittsburgh Steelers. 49ers fans traveled pretty well in Tampa Bay. They mm -hmm. traveled well in Cincinnati. Now they're coming home. What is your message to the fans in the stands that we'll see this Sunday at Levi Stadium? Guys, we need you. The way the faithful traveled to Cincinnati, to Tampa, we loved it. They felt like home games, and I just need to see them, but to see a red out there, one day and we'll get the dub. That's it. You heard it right here. Matt, appreciate you. Thank you. Cameron. Have a good game on Sunday. I will. Let's do it.